greeting, sport fans and Wally Watchers. Today, excuse me, Adla, but get out of the way, would you? Ah, nobody told me you were filming today. Actually, Woof, mechanized clothes cleaning has been prevalent since the early 20th century. I found this machine in the land of the washing workmen. It also comes in handy for washing my dishes. And it does a great job on the neighbor's cars. Hmm, how long has it been since I washed you, Wolf? <laughs> Who's the surprise visitor sliding down the chimney? It's not Christmas. It will be for me if I can get my mitts on that walking stick. And my glove on Wally. Wally! I didn't expect to run into you at the cleaners. Hey, I'll tell you, would you have these robes washed? <clears throat> well, Whitebeard, I... Hey, did I tell you that I was notified by a king in distress, huh? And it involves an exciting competition. Ooh. Sounds exciting, doesn't it, Woof? <laughs> oh, Piffle. You may want to use the clues in the great ball game rule book. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> rule number one, start going up the other way. Rule number two, a stolen base will save the day. Rule number three, rise to fulfill your role. And rule number four, <laughs> to win head towards your final goal. <laughs> Wolf loves ball games. <laughs> How depressing. Well, this certainly puts a new wrinkle in this story. <laughs> Get it? Wrinkle! I love it! I can't much. Shut up. Sorry? <laughs> wrinkle. <laughs> well, time's wasting. Let's go, Wolf. Good luck, Wally. <laughs> That's my cue. The portal. Hey, good luck, Wally. <laughs> and I'll be over tomorrow to pick up my laundry, huh? Easy on the starch, all right? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the great ball game. The ever adventurous Wally's in the middle of the action. Talk about good seats. Did you know, Wolf, that this game has four teams that play two games at the same time? Wally! And that's not all, Wolf. Listen to this. You can throw your opponent's ball into a pit to keep him from scoring. Come on, Wolf. Let's take a look around. Look, Woof, this must be the pit I read about. <laughs> Let's see if we can play, Woof. Oh, I don't believe these people are fighting over a stupid ball. Can I play? I'm sure they won't mind if I give this game a try. 
And this is the royal translator. Hmm. Fussy fuss. Isn't that suffy suff spelled backwards? Well, I guess so. Thanks for winning the game. You tied the series. So now we can compete in the royal tiebreaker. I'm Wally, and this is my dog, Woof. <laughs> Wally, I really need your help. I we get my the crown trophy is missing. Yeah, and if I don't win the royal tiebreaker and get the trophy back, my subjects will turn against me and my kingdom will be or it lost. It has to be my evil stepbrother, Blech. What did he say? He said Blech. Yeah, and he's next in line for the throne. Evil stepbrother. Not that I know the bloke, mind you, but I already like him. Ah! Maybe this rule book will help us find your trophy. I, you, my. The king's glad to hear it. You're finished, Fussifus. Just one more game, and your kingdom is mine. All right, Blech. What have you done with the crown trophy? <gasps> <laughs> you think I stole the crown trophy? I'm crushed. Why do you think he did it? <gasps> because he also stole the royal scepter, the royal shoehorn, and the royal cow! Who? Moi? Mm -hmm. huh? You are... Oh. What's he saying? You don't want to know, sir. Well, it doesn't matter, because tomorrow, after winning the game, Blech rules the kingdom! <laughs> nice laugh. Oh, Prince Black, I'd like to help you stop Wally from finding the crown trophy. Who are you? I'm the chap who teams up with scuzz like you every week while I follow Wally around and try to steal his stick. Put it there. Ah! Close enough, partner. Hmm. The first rule is start game up the other way. That's it, Woof. That's the clue. Huh? The other way from up is down. Down the hole. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, yes! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> oh, yes, Wolf! Where's that wandering Wally going? Why, down, of course! Will this be the end of Wally? Will I be looking for another job? Stay tuned, Wally Watchers! Well, Wolf, apparently I didn't bring my parachute. Well, no! <laughs> But I did bring my walking stick. Phew, right with it. Little does Wally know, he's standing at the entrance of the maze of no return. It is? Sounds fascinating. Let's have a look, Woof. Uh-oh, Wally Watchers. Guess which nauseating nasty shown up to stop our hero and take his walking stick. Please, hold your applause. All right, troops, get in there, get Wally, and get me that stick. <laughs> Hello, evil sidekicks union. I've got a complaint. Isn't it amazing, Wolf? Topiary of this kind is usually found only in the grandest of gardens. Notice the 
well-trimmed young blooms and the deep green color. I'll give the chap a trim of his own. What's this? It looks like Wally's clever canine companion has a little something up his furry sleeve. Amazing! I've never seen anyone get a cab this quickly in New York. And the fresh smell indicates that they'll be blossoms soon. Did you say something, Wolf? Uh-uh. Oh, thank goodness I found you. I've been stuck here in this maze for 20 years. I've been by myself all alone. Don't worry. I'll be happy to help you find your way out. Are you kidding? I like it here. Yes, I can understand that. Would you like to hear how foliage was first used for mazes such as this? <laughs> not. The origin of these mazes transpired in the late 12th century, when... Get out of here! Oh! That's what Oddlaw gets for being a lousy tipper. Now Oddlaw's setting up traps that will never work, Wally Watchers. Of course they will. Watch. Pardon me, but I believe I have a chiropractic emergency. And then, circa 1557, a variety of kingdoms were... <coughs> Why, I don't believe it! A hedge monster! <coughs> Why, look! A visitor from the land of the Shrieking Shrubs! Is there anything in life more touching than young shrubbery in love? Hmm. Aha! Uh -huh. Look, Woof, this must be the base for the crown trophy. And rule number two said that a stolen base will save the day. Good work, Woof. It appears you found the royal inflator. But how do you know it's the Royal Inflator? Easy. It's wearing a crown. Oh. There he is. <laughs> Kids, don't you just love them? Rule number three says, rise above our opponent and fulfill our role. Woof, where are you going? Afternoon, doggy. Care to take a chance and win a tasty little bone? Oh, <laughs> Glad to hear it. Now watch the bone, keep your eyes on the bone, and you'll know exactly where it is. There you go, friend. Tell me where the bone is, and it's yours. <laughs> oh, too bad, friend. you lose. <laughs> Pardon me. But have you seen a dog wearing a stylish red shirt? Congratulations, friend. It's your lucky day. You'll find your friend under one of these shells. <laughs> Watch the shell. Keep your eyes on the shell, and you'll know exactly where your friend is. There you go, friend. Tell me where the pooch is, and he's all yours. Hmm. Let's see. I pick that one. <laughs> hey, how'd you know that? All it took was a few calculations, taking into consideration the laws of probability and chance, and the fact that I smelled Wolf's cologne coming from under your hat. Right, right. Bye! Thanks for the fun! <laughs> Wait a second. I know how to rise and fulfill our role. Watch, Wolf. A simple balloon. And with the help of the Royal Inflator, the recent occurrence of prevailing westerly winds, we should be back in time for the royal tie-breaking game. Amazing, Wally Watchers. How does he do it? First he's down there, then he's going up here. Then 
He's gone! Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wolf? Why am I wasting time talking when I could be looking for them? Have you found our hero yet, Wally Watchers? I hope so, because he owes me five dollars. Woof. Let's go. We found the trophy base, King Fussy Fuss. And if we play by the rules, we'll find the trophy, too. And uh, by the way, could he borrow $5 to pay me back? <laughs> Good work, Wally. But unless Fussy Fuss wins the tiebreaker and finds the crown trophy, <laughs> the throne is mine! <laughs> you, I'll... What did he say? Ah, ooh, e, you, I'll. <laughs> I thought so. Okay. It's time to pick our champions for the tie-breaking match. I chose Gundra. <laughs> Seems like a nice enough fellow, doesn't he? <laughs> Great. There's your champion. <laughs> Play ball! But Wally can't play. He needs to find the crown trophy. Don't worry, King Fussy Fuss. I'm sure Gundra will be willing to postpone the match. Right, Woof? <laughs> hmm, nice ball. Notice the intricate seams and the durable cover. <laughs> it's just a little thunder, Woof. Nothing to be scared of. Come on, get him, Gundra. Have I missed anything? <laughs> Guess not. I, you, that, oh my. Go, Wally, go. It should be here somewhere. Here it is, a peanut butter cookie. Cookie? Gundra cookie hungry. You looked like you were working up an appetite. Here, be my guest. <laughs> All right, listen, you big doofus. I want this game ball kicked across the goalpost now. Gundra kick ball blast. Uh-oh. Due to current network restrictions, we're not allowed to show you the remainder of this gruesome scene on television. <laughs> that watch, he, boy. Ouch. <laughs> now let's see. The last rule is to win, head toward your final goal. Take it away, Woof. <laughs> Whoopee, whoopee, we won. <sighs> Big deal. 
Even if I don't win the game, it doesn't matter. Without the crown trophy, <laughs> I still take the throne. Not yet. The second rule said a stolen base will save the day. Of course! The base is magnetic! Here's the crown trophy. He found the trophy! <coughs> I think I'm gonna fight. <laughs> Allow me, sir. Oh. King Fussy Fuss still rules the kingdom. I'm just gonna... gotta... Whoa. The king thanks you, Wally. Wally? Where's Wally? Don't ask me. I can't even find my own car keys. Good luck, Wally Watchers. There's Wally. That's it for today, Wally Watchers. My time's up, and I'm not being paid for extra innings. Bye now. Hit it. Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? Where's Wally? There he is. <laughs>